Oh yeah, this is a real guy in boxing back. We had a tough fight today. Uh, K. Tevers, Delphine Pursun, uh, undisputed lightweight contest. Ten rounds, two minutes each, and it just wasn't enough time. But the scorecards read a unanimous decision for Katie Taylor. Let's talk about the first round. I mean, Katie came out with headbutts, you know, uh, some headbutts, but you know she was trying to establish her business, moving, uh, you know. Uh, Olympic style uh, punching, you know, uh, rapid punching and moving, but Pursun was pressing. She was pressing from the bell to the end. If K Taylor was landing some crisp shots, it was more cleaner shots, but Pursun was pressuring the whole fight, and she was landing more punches. She was throwing way more punches, and then she even landed in between. She was missing, but she was landing, throwing more punches, and they called it a unanimous for Katie Taylor. After all those punches thrown by Pursun and the ones that had landed. You call that a unanimous decision. It was no way she was going to win in Eddie Hearn's backyard uh, at fight camp. Pursun knew that. That's why she was so gracious. You know, she was gracious. But at the end of the day, I don't know if they paid her to to, to give on that uh, post-fight press conference. Uh, I mean, that post-fight uh, interview. But there was no way she lost by unanimous decision, man. Come on. I mean, 98, 93. Uh, I mean, people watch fights at the same time. But it's like they're watching different fights. I mean, that's what it is. And, and, and it's crazy, man, for her to lose Madame's decision. This was the similar fight as last time. Pursun said she was sluggish, you know, uh, she was eating too much or whatever. But it just doesn't make any sense. The, the amount of punches she threw and the ones that she landed and the way how she was bullying. It was like, was it effective aggression? Was it was it uh, sloppy? She was bullying K. Taylor the whole fight. K. Taylor got a few key punches in, but... For the most part, she didn't la throw as many and she didn't land as many. It's real Ghana boxing, man. I mean, we watched the same fight, but we had different results. Uh, you know, it was no way she was going to win. She had the, she knew, Kate Delphine said that, you know, by the way how she was talking, she knew that she had to knock her out to get the win in Eddie Hearn's backyard. That's what she had to do. And she couldn't do it. And she lost. But uh, it was, it, you know, I, I scored a fight, uh, 96, 94 for Delphine Pearson. And, and, you know, people that watch this channel, they know I ride for Katie, you know, but I ain't biased. All the videos that I put on about Katie is about how great she is, but she did not win this fight, by, especially by not, not a unanimous decision, man. It's real kind of fun.